Kamal. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, I just wanted to get your thoughts on joining the Montreal Impact and, and what the entire uh, process has been like for you being exposed in the draft and now uh, coming to Montreal. Um, it's, it's been amazing so far. Um, I knew that there was a chance of me moving somewhere in this expansion draft. And when I heard that Montreal was interested, I was um, extremely happy for myself, for my family, to be closer to home and to play for a team that I've had uh, a lot of interest with and um, has seen a lot of growing up, obviously being from Toronto and, and Montreal integrating into the league. It's, I, I've seen a lot of Montreal. I had a lot of friends play here and come through the club. I've heard amazing things. So overall, it was an amazing experience for me. Thank you, Jamal. Do we have another one for Kamal, please? Jeremy Filosa, 98.5. Thanks, Kamal. Or welcome to Montreal. Um, before I ask my question, just just wanted to make sure uh, Orlando had picked up your option. How many options here did did you have left on this uh, this deal that you, your current deal? Um, the twenty twenty two season would have been my last option year. Okay, so so one after this one. So two thousand twenty one plus. There's one more option for two thousand twenty two. Is that what am I understanding? Right. Okay, good. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, so just to, to ask you, obviously, you're, you've played a lot of left-back position with Orlando. We're also hearing you can play center-back. If you had the choice, where do you feel more comfortable? Where do you feel like you can contribute the best? Thank you. Um, like I said, I played, like you said, I played a lot of minutes with left-back at Orlando. Um in college before I was drafted to Orlando, I played a lot of center back. So I'm pretty vers versatile and I'm comfortable anywhere along the back line and anywhere the team needs me to fill in and help out. Uh, Gavino DeFalco, IMFC Radio. Thank you, Pat. Uh, Kamal, welcome to Montreal. Kamal, if you look at the numbers, it seems that uh, you played a lot more under James O'Connor in 2019. Uh, how do you explain that uh, maybe you were uh, maybe a, a role of substitute with uh, under coach Oscar Perea? Uh, were you healthy 100% or something like that? Um, yeah, I was very healthy throughout the year. Um, there was a, a very large group of good players at Orlando. I was uh, competing with some more experienced center backs um, towards some international players who were also very good players that I learned a lot from. Um, I was also competing with another young left back. So there was a lot of fighting for playing time and some weeks I was the favorite and some weeks I, I wasn't depending on the, on the matchups and stuff like that. So, Overall, yeah, I was healthy and was fighting for the playing time. Adi Rafael, I know. Thank you, Pat. Uh, hey, Kamal, welcome to Montreal. Um, just a question. I know that a lot of people, a lot of players do that whenever they are about to change clubs. They call their national team coach uh, to see exactly what he thinks about that move. Did you have any contact with John Herdman or anybody from his staff? Because you are a Canadian international. I'm sure maybe uh, you wanted to... Uh, to take their, their opinion on that move? Um, not necessarily leading up to the expansion draft or anything like that, but throughout the year, um, the national team staff does a great job of keeping in communication with players and the situations and everything going on at every club. So throughout the year, I've had, had conversations with John um, about my future and about what he expects and wants from me. Um, this season and last season and over over the next few years in the future and finding a home for me where I would be in a better contention to fight for some playing time was, was definitely part of the conversation so so yeah uh, there's another one from uh, Gemma in a similar vein um, 
you've obviously got some friends on the Canadian team who play up in Canada. What did you, did you, have you had a chance to talk to them about what it's like to be playing either for Montreal or Toronto or Vancouver? And uh, what have they told you? Yeah, uh, like you said, I have friends at, at all three clubs. And even before I was drafted, while I was in college, I would always talk to them and ask them what it's like playing at home and the rivalries between the clubs and just how amazing it is to push the brand of soccer in Canada while while playing for one of these clubs and competing with the U.S. clubs. Um, specifically in Montreal here, I, I've spoken to, uh, to Zach and, and Sammy um, leading up to this. And when the news first came out, they reached out. So, so yeah, it's been great so far. And Elton George, uh, Can FC. Hi, come on. Um, can you describe Hello. yourself a little bit, uh, talking about uh, your uh, your strengths or maybe uh, what you need to work on? Yeah, for sure. Um, in my first two seasons in MLS, I, I felt like I've uh, adjusted to the level well, um, especially from a technical aspect. I feel like um, playing out of the back has been one of my strengths for sure and finding good passes to the midfielders and forwards and really setting them up in some good opportunities to, to score with, with breaking lines. I felt like um, over these past two seasons in Orlando, um, the, the role that was asked of me to play left back and to, to cover for Nani and, and really solidify the left side defensively kind of by myself was um, was asked of me and I felt like I did that well. Um, some parts of my game that I definitely have to improve on is um, being a complete 90-minute um, player, focusing throughout the whole match, and being more of a, a leader in the back line, for sure. I would say those are two things I, I look to work on, for sure. Uh, Jeremy, again. Yeah, thanks again, uh, Kamal. Very much appreciated. Um, obviously, this team is going young. You know, only six players left on this roster right now over 24 years old. Is this something that, that's attractive to you, uh, to be able to come on a team where, obviously, you're going to have a lot of young teammates and there's going to be uh, pretty much playing time for, for everybody? Thanks. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's a very exciting project. Speaking to, uh, to Thierry, um, they, they look to, to build a young um, healthy group that that's hungry and wants to fight and has something to to prove. So so being part of that group and part of the plans is amazing, and we'll we'll all be able to relate to each other and help each other while while having a younger core. So so it's nice to be to be a part of that for sure. Um, Paul Vance, Montreal Soccer. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, hi, Kamal. Welcome to the club, and thanks for doing this. Um, about a year ago, I recall you were playing in a, a, a very, very good performance at BMO Field for the national team against the United States. And that night, you played in a conventional left-back role, and we were reading a lot about you at the moment. And I think I remember you mostly playing in a left-back role at, at Orlando. But mm -hmm. we're reading a lot about you being a center back right now. So, do you prefer the conventional left back role, or do you prefer to play on the left side of a back three? Um, the left side of the back three is probably my my most comfortable and favorite position. Um, I did that job four years while I was down at Syracuse in in college, and uh, I've done a bit of that with. The national team with on the right side Richie Larea being the one to push forward and get up and down that right side while myself providing a bit more defensive stability on the left side and allowing Fonzie or also or whoever was on that left side to, to really get forward and, and attack but yeah I would say I'm mostly a, a center back but earlier like I said I have the versatility to play left back or anywhere across the back line. So wherever the team and the club needs me, I'll, I'll be ready to do that job. Uh, Di Rafael again. Thank you, Pat, again. Um, Kemal, uh, you said, uh, following it up on, uh, on the question of Paul, 
Uh, did you have any good discussion with uh, Thierry Henry uh, about the role that uh, you're going to play, the position that you're going to play, or how he sees you uh, in in this team and how you're going to fit in this team? Um, yes, I've had conversations with Thierry. Um, not not too much about uh, role or anything specific like that. It is mostly uh, an introduction. Um, the group just finished their, their their last game down there in Orlando, so everything is still fresh and a lot of pieces are still being moved around. So we didn't get too much into that. It was more personal and getting to know each other and talking about some of our values and expectations for the 21 season. Uh, is there another question for Kamal this afternoon? Yes, Jeremy. Maybe just uh, one last one on your on your family's reaction to you coming back. Uh, you know, obviously Montreal is not definitely home for you, but just being back home in Canada and being close to them, what, what was their reaction? It's uh, it's a dream come true for them. We're all sitting around watching the expansion draft, and when my name got called, and especially when the trade happened, um, tears of joy from my my parents and. My sister, everyone is just extremely happy to have me home. And and like I said, uh, the dream and uh, a personal dream of mine has always been to push the, the game of soccer in Canada as far as possible. So if I can come home and contribute to Montreal's success in in the U.S. and in the Champions League, Hockey Cap Champions League are some of our lofty goals. And if I can be a part of that and help this team, help this team get there is, is uh, special for me. And there's another one from uh, Paul. Thanks, Pat. Just just a little bit of fun, Kamal. Are, are the family all Toronto fans? Um, not not necessarily. I would say by location, yes. If if they had to choose a team, they they would support Toronto. But but not not uh, diehard Toronto fans. No. All right. I think that was the last question. Uh, thanks again for your time, Kamal, and welcome to the club. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Et euh, en terminant, je peux aussi vous dire que le bilan, euh, disons, en conférence vidéo de fin d'année, ce sera demain, fin d'avant-midi, vous recevrez la vue média au courant de l'après-midi. So, the end of, uh, of year, uh, video conference will take place tomorrow morning. You should get the media advisory later this afternoon. Thank you, everyone. Merci beaucoup, tout le monde. À demain.